Marlon Byrd is headed to Cincinnati. According to ESPN and multiple media reports, the Phillies will send the veteran outfielder to a Reds team in need of another bat in their lineup. I'm Antonita Collins with your ESPN headline. For more on this, we're joined by ESPN senior baseball writer Jerry Krasnick. Now, Jerry, we know that the Reds last season, they were 76 and 86. They were considering players such as Michael Morse and Nori Aoki. Why did they opt for Bird? Well, Tony, they definitely needed a bat. You know, you look at the Reds, and they're a team that plays in a small park and has traditionally been a good offensive club. Last year, they were 13th in the National League in runs scored uh, with 595. Uh, Michael Morse is off the board. Uh, he's gone, and Aoki didn't quite fit. So uh, Bird, through a trade, was a guy that they felt like could slot into left field, and even though he's 37 years old, uh, can probably do better than the performance that Ryan Ludwig gave them in left field and be a good middle-of-the-order bat. Um, as I said, he is getting older. He played right field last season, strikes out a lot, struck out 185 times last year, but he hit 25 home runs, and he's going from one small park in Philly to another one in Cincinnati, and he might be a pretty good fit offensively there. Now, Jerry, let's talk about the Phillies. In terms of what they've done this offseason, what can we expect from them moving forward? Well, Tony, a lot of people said going into this offseason that Ruben Amaro really had to make some moves. You know, the Phillies won 73 games, and they're getting older. And he started uh, before the uh, during the winter meetings by trading away Jimmy Rollins and Antonio Bastardo, and this is another move that they made. He still has some other things that he would like to do. I'm sure they'd love to get rid of Ryan Howard, but his salary and his reduced performance really doesn't bode well. It's difficult for them to move him. And the big trade that they could make is Cole Hamels, uh, and they would like a real load of talent for him. And it remains to be seen if they can put together a Cole Hamels deal sometime after the new year. Once again, ESPN's Jerry Krasnick with a perspective on the Reds acquiring left fielder Marlon Bird from the Phillies. This will be Bird's eighth major league team. For the latest MLB moves of this offseason, make sure to keep it locked right here on ESPN.com.